Hey, my name is Dante, and today I'm going to say you look great. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, instead of just instead of just saying what's on my mind, I'm going to... Basically, I'm just going to give you a lesson on something, right? And as you can tell by the title of this video... Somewhere around here. The lesson is sexuality. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. Although I should probably put like a warning thing at the start of this video, so uh, let's just do that. Warning! Some of the content of this video may be offensive to some viewers. If you are offended by any of the content in this video, then good news, there's a billion other videos that you could watch. So, yeah, you know, nobody's forcing you to watch this. If you continue to watch this, it is your own choice. So, yeah. Viewer discretion is advised. What does that even mean? Viewer discretion is advised. I've heard that on like warning labels at the beginning of videos, but I never actually knew what that meant. Oh, well. to the video. Today's lesson is gonna be sexuality. Sexuality. Verb, I think. To be sexually attracted to anything, or more commonly, anyone. Today I'm gonna be talking about five sexualities that are mostly towards humans. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Heterosexual. Heterosexual, or more commonly known as being straight, is when a person is sexually attracted to the opposite sex, or the opposite gender, or whatever. So, if you were a boy, you would be sexually attracted to a girl, and vice versa. And that's pretty much the long and short of it. There's no sugarcoating, it's just what I just said. There's nothing else to talk about that. It's just that. Heter heterosexuality is that boring because it's just that. Hmm. Homosexual. Being homosexual, or more commonly known as being gay, is when a person is sexually attracted to the person that is the same sex or gender as they are. There are actually different names for both of the genders for this sexuality. If you're a gay man, well that's pretty much it, you're known as being gay. Or being a gay person, or whatever. If you're a woman who is gay, you're known as a lesbian. Now, we are reaching a day and age where being gay is okay. That should be a song. <coughs> I'll link in the description. <laughs> Excuse me. Bisexual. If a person is bisexual, that means that they are sexually attracted to both boys and girls. So, if you were a boy, you'd be sexually attracted to both boys and girls. Same with girls. You'd be sexually attracted to both boys and girls. Now, if you are bisexual, be prepared to answer a lot, and I mean a lot, of questions. Such as, are you attracted to boys or girls? Or, do you have like a schedule on who you're sexually attracted to? That sort of thing. If they make snarky comments, just ignore them, but if they're asking questions, just think of it as like them being curious. They want to know what it's like through the eyes of a person who likes it both ways. Basically, you're pretty much the teacher that I'm guessing you didn't have. I don't know. I'm not sure if schools actually talk about this subject. <laughs> I've been homeschooled since the sixth grade, so yeah. Pansexual. Now, in order for me to explain what being pansexual is, I would have to explain what a transgender person is. A transgender person is when a person 
decides to change their gender. So if you were a transgendered man or a trans man, that would mean that you were originally a girl at birth, but then you sexually identify as a boy. Same goes for a trans woman, I guess. They were born as a man, but then they now sexually identify as a girl. Now, a pansexual person is a person who is sexually attracted to both boys, girls, and transgenders. They're pretty much a perfect example of a person who cares what a person is like and not what a person is. Asexual. If a person is asexual, that means that they are not sexually attracted to anybody. Now from what I've learned, this is the one that's, for a lack of a better term, the most disliked because they're not sexually attracted to anybody. Now, if there's anything I learned about this subject is that being sexually attracted to someone and being romantically attracted to someone, they're not the same thing. Asexual people are just that. They're people. They're people like you. They just... They're just not sexually attracted to anybody. It doesn't make them any less of a person than you. Alright? You're not answering my question. You're just staring at the screen blankly. Alright? Alright. Alright. And those are sexualities uh, towards people. From what I've learned, I think I am straight. I'm pretty sure that I'm straight. Yeah. Yeah, I'm straight. I hope you learned something from this, and I hope you use this knowledge wisely. Well, I must say that it's been an educational day, but now is the time for me to say uh, goodbye. A goodbye. <laughs>